Moses Achan, a lecturer in the Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics, Macquarie University, College of Health Sciences. I'm going through a brief of the paper that I'm preparing to publish in DAPRES, Reports in Parastology, titled Incomplete Reverse of Genetic Resistance of Plasmodium Falsparum to Chloroquine After a Decade of Change in Malaria Treatment Policy in Uganda. Background. The potential reemergence of plasmodium falsparum parasites sensitive to chloroquine provides an opportunity for reintroduction of the drug in patient care. With the recent discovery and spread of artemisinin resistance in Southeast Asia, the emergence of chloroquine sensitivity gives hope for malaria treatment globally. In this study, we explored the prevalence of genotypic chloroquine resistance of plasmodium falsparum isolates collected from symptomatic patients in northern Uganda. Methods. Finger prick capillary blood spotted on what man filter papers were collected from adult symptomatic outpatients in Lira and Gulu Regional Referral Hospitals. Patients were screened for presence of plasmodium infection with rapid diagnostic tests prior to blood sample collection. Parasite DNA was extracted from individual blood spots on the filter papers using Cherix resin method. Presence of mutations PFCRT, K76T, and PFMDR1, N86Y were analyzed using PCR restriction fragment length polymorphism method. A total of 213 and 169 amplicons were analyzed for PFCRT and PFMDR polymorphisms, respectively. The data collected was analyzed in Excel spreadsheet 2007. Results. 41.8% of plasmodium falsparum isolates analyzed for PFCRT K76T polymorphisms had wild type genotype 76K. The majority, 54.4, carried mutant genotype 76T, while 3.8 had mixed genotypes 76K stroke T. For PFMDR1 N86Y polymorphisms, the majority, 97% of the isolates, had the wild type genotype 86N. A small proportion, 1.8, had the mutant genotype 86Y, while 1.2 samples had mixed genotypes 86N stroke Y. Conclusion Plasmodium falsparum parasites with genotypic resistance to chloroquine have persisted in the population after more than a decade since the change of malaria policy in Uganda.